Good morning, students. Now we are going to learn about the second unit. Second unit of the embedded system that is embedded hardware. Embedded. In the first chapter, we have learned the different types of embedded systems and design of embedded systems, firmware, hardware, sensors, detectors, communications, and interfacing. So coming to the a um, brief overview of first unit we have what is meant by embedded system what is meant by embedded system it is an arrangement in which all its units assemble work together according to set of rules is known as embedded system it is an it is an arrangement in which all its units assemble work together according to set of rules is known as embedded system for example watch so um, mainly embedded system which is designed to perform the particular task within the specific time like uh, mobile phone washing machine microwave robots ref refrigerators these are all the real time applications of the embedded systems and we have the different types of applications in embedded systems that is medical systems office equipment tools banking transportation radar systems automobiles building systems lighting systems and agricultures these are all the applications of the embedded systems and we have the classification of embedded system it is classified into two types based on the performance and based on the function so standard embedded systems real time embedded system network embedded system multi mobile phone embedded system mobile embedded system so it coming to the function of the embedded system it is classified into again three types we have small scale embedded system medium scale embedded system and large scale embedded system this is the important question next firmware firmware which is used to the controlling the all the programs which is built in the embedded design and sensors which are used to sense the input and it can be used as a transducers and it also uses the detectors it is can also used for the and detecting purpose uh, it can also used as a transducer which is converting the analog signal into the electrical signal next one interface interface means it is a connection the interface which is used to or uh, share the information from one device to another device it like uh, it, it may be a wireless or wire interface means it is the one of the connection it may be wire or wireless through uh, interface we will share the information from one port to another port so that is the uh, interface communication interface communication interface are classified into different types so by using this communication interface communication means exchanging the information between two persons or two devices so that information which is transferred to the one device to another device so these are all the concept and and also we have the different hardware and software hardware sir uh, hardware components are transistors resistors diodes fets and these are all the hardware components which are designed into the integrated circuit integrated circuit means all the uh, elements uh, all the electronic components which are uh, integrated into single chip is known as a uh, integrated chip ic so that is the hardware and software for the hardware design we are uh, programming by using the c language by using c language or c++ language we are developing the embedded software and um, after developing the embedded software to the hardware uh, both the combination of hardware and software is known as a embedded design so the real time examples are now nowadays we are using the different uh, applications most applications are mobile phones washing machines microwave refrigerators and robots there is all the real time applications of the embedded design so this is the uh, all the concepts of first units now we are going to uh, know about the second unit that is embedded hardware embedded hardware means 
embedded means it is having the arrangements uh, according to the set of rules so and um, what are the uh, embedded devices what is the arrangement of embedded uh, devices are transistors resistors capacitors inductors trimers relays switches these are all the embedded hardware let us come to the introduction part of the embedded hardware we have the um, already we discussed about the what is the definition of embedded embedded is a combination of both hardware and software and it is mainly designed to perform the a particular task within the specified time and these embedded hardware which is built in the pcb board or it is uh, which is built in the ic in pcb board means uh, print, uh, pcb means it is a printed circuit board it provides a platform for placing all the necessary hardware components for building an embedded product that means by using the one pcb we are designing the number of uh, necessary components and it can be designed on the pcb board by using that pcb board we have um, for the design of pcb we have the different layers so after designing the pcb and we are uh, building the different components necessary components and we are uh, developing the one embedded product on the pcb board and another hardware component is integrated circuit board integrated uh, we can develop the and uh, we can develop the hardware components uh, on ic integrated circuit or on pcb board and now we can see the uh, embedded uh, design which is built on uh, integrated circuit that is hardware in embedded system is built around analog electronic components the analog electronic components uh, like uh, resistors capacitors trans uh, transistors trimers uh, leds these are all the analog electronic components and uh, as well as we have the digital electronic components also so these analog and electronic uh, digital electronic components which are designed on the pcb board and um, ic circuit ic means integrated circuit all the components which are um which are integrated in a single chip is known as a ic and it can also design on the pcb board all the necessary components which are built on a uh, one pcb board so it can build the one product that is known as the uh, introduction to the embedded let us come to the analog analog electronic components what are the components Uh, required to design the embedded product is we have we have the different electronic components they are analog electronic components and digital electronic components let us come to the analog electronic components the analog electronic components are capacitors transistors diodes inductors operational amplifiers are etc and we can also have the leds trimers relays switches these are all the analog electronic components analog electronic components these analog electronic components which are integrated in the ic board or which are built on the pcb board um, by building on the um, pcb board we can design or we can uh, uh, manufacture the one embedded product these are all the these are all the embedded These are all the embedded these are all the embedded analog components analog electronic components so by using these uh, embedded by using these analog electronic components Uh, we can integrate on the IC board, or we can in, uh, build on PCB board. And let us come to the what are the digital electronic components. Let us come to the digital electronic components. Uh, here we have the analog and uh, uh, digital components. We can use both in both in types. There, 
switches relays ttl ttl means transistor transistor logic microprocessors microcontrollers sos cmos uh, all these are used in the digital signal processing digital signals these uh, digital electronic components which are used in the digital systems and it has the uh, different electrical characteristics and it has the different electrical characteristics characteristics are um, means power consumption power dissipation um, and what is the power we required and what is the uh, uh, voltage we require what is the current we required these are all the a uh, specific characteristics which is having the digital electronic components by using these digital electronic components we can develop the microprocessors and microcontrollers uh, systems and we can also we develop the sos system on chips which are used on the uh, systems uh, computer systems by using the transistor transistor logic we can uh, implement the Uh, these are all the ETL can can also used as a gates. These gates which can be used in the digital logics design. So these are all used in the computer uh, systems. And these uh, digital electronic components which is having the different characteristics for to produce or to design the different electronic uh, manufacturing designs. And it is have the specific specifications are also. So this is the digital electronic components. Let us come to the next one. Serial communication. What is meant by serial communication? What is meant by serial communication? Serial communication is often used either to control or to receive data from an embedded microprocessor. Serial means. Sequentially, one by one, one by one, communication means by serially we can receive or send information by controlling to the microprocessor. From a microprocessor, we can receive or send information, um, and by controlling the signals. So that is known as the serial communication devices. serial communication device serial communication is often used either to control or to receive data from an embedded microprocessor from the embedded microprocessor like from the computers we can receive or send the information now for real time examples are mails we are receiving and we are sending mails to the other persons that means the communication is exchanged between the two persons so that is known by one by one that is known as a serial communication what are the types of serial communication the basic types of serial communications are simplex half duplex and full duplex simplex half duplex and full duplex what is meant by simplex what is the definition of the simplex it is only one one way of direction that means simplex which is used to send or receive the data in one way direction either it may be sending or it may be a receiving but it it, uh, it can't produce the uh, or we can't send information both at a time that means we cannot receive data and we, ca we cannot send data within Time, but we have the only one way direction. That is, we have to send or receive the data. That is known as the simplex. What is meant by half duplex? It is a two way direction. It can use and receive the information, but not at the same time. That means, that is simplex means one way direction, only one way direction. simplex means one way direction we can send or we can receive but both are not possible in simplex we have to send or receive the data only one way direction that is simplex what is meant by 
duplex what is meant by duplex duplex means two way direction two way direction this is the two way direction that means we can send or we can receive but it is not possible at a time it cannot it does not perform simultaneously within the time at different times it will uses the uh, it we can send or it can receive the data and it is not possible simultaneously at different times it can receive or uh, send the data and what is meant by full duplex what is meant by full duplex full duplex means it is a two way direction it can send or receive the information at a time so uh, in the half duplex we can it is the two way direction but we cannot receive or send, send the data in the uh, same time but it is possible in the full duplex we can send or we can receive the data in the same time that is known as the simplex what is meant by serial communication these serial communication devices which are used in the embedded microprocessors in embedded microprocessors we use the different types of uh, serial communications they are simplex half duplex full duplex simplex means it is the one way of direction it is the one way of simplex means it is the one way of direction you can send or we can receive the data that is known as simplex let us come to the half duplex half duplex means it is a two way direction it can send and receive the information but not at the same time we can send we can receive the data but not at the same same time that is known as a half duplex let us come to the full duplex this two way of direction it can send or receive the information at a same time so within that time we can receive and we can uh, send the message simultaneously that is known as a simplex that is known as the serial communication devices simplex half duplex and full duplex let us come to the next uh, part of the embedded system embedded hardware that is parallel devices what are the devices which are used to design the embedded designs are embedded uh, analog electronic components digital electronic components and serial communication devices and another one is parallel device ports of all components we can design the embedded product let us know about the parallel device ports parallel device ports which are used on the cd roms cd players and um, uh, computer uh, computers in ports that is parallel ports are used to connect external devices that need to send or receive a lot of data over a short distance within the short distance we can receive or uh, we can send information but it is the electric connection external connection it is not the internal connection it is the external uh, device which can uh, which is used to receive or send the information a uh, lot it in the short distance over a short distance we can receive the lot of information um, by using these parallel ports by using these parallel ports these ports usually send 8 bits of data simultaneously across 8 parallel bytes so these ports usually send 8 bits of 8 bits of data by using the 8 parallel bytes by using 8 parallel bytes you can uh, uh, send the uh, data uh, 8 bits of data and parallel ports are used for connecting to um, printers to a pc we can connect the by using these parallel ports we can connect the um, printers to our personal computers by using these um, parallel ports we can also send our uh, send the 8 bits of data by uh, one byte of data simultaneously that is parallel ports are named because they are eight lines for sending all the bits that 
compromise one byte of data simultaneously across eight bytes across the eight wires we can send uh, one byte of data one byte of means uh, we have the large number of data we are sending the large number of data within the eight bytes only so why these parallel ports are important to in the embedded design by using these embedded um, these parallel ports only we can receive or send the information so what is meant by parallel device parallel uh, what parallel devices which are the external uh, external devices by using these parallel what is the use of parallel devices uh, for parallel devices are used to receive or uh, send the information within the short distance we can receive or uh, send the information with a large amount of data and it is uh, can send the eight bits of data simultaneously by using eight parallel bytes and it can also use it to connect the pcb to the printers and it can also send the information one byte of data within the eight bytes that is known as a parallel devices parallel port devices let us come to the next topic wireless devices wireless devices are mobile phones and computers wireless wireless means we are not connecting any wire to the mobiles or the computer only for the purpose of charging only we are connecting the charger but uh, it is not uh, working on based on the wire it is a wireless uh, uh, devices wireless communication is a type of data communication that is performed and delivered wirelessly that means it is the data you can also call it as a data communication that means um, by using mobile phones we are sending the data from one person to another person by using the computers we are sending the information from one device to another devices so, so um, without any wire connection so that's why it is known as a data communication or wireless communication so transmitting or receiving voice and data using electromagnetic waves in open space uh, uh, our uh, message which is voice data or voice message signals which are uh, transmitting by using the electromagnetic waves in through the space through space um, by using the electromagnetic waves the our voice data which is transmitting or receiving the data so this is the wireless devices wireless devices are uh, most often used in the real time application that is computers and mobile phones these are all the um, real time applications and main features of the um, embedded design these for these embedded design hardware components have the having the different types of chips for the um, uh, system on chip design we are developing the embedded software uh, after developing the hardware and software we are designing the why embedded product that is uh, mobile phone is the embedded product computer hardware is the embedded product without any wires we can receive or send the information that is known as the wireless devices let us come to the timers and counting devices let us come to the timers and counting devices timer and counting devices the most critical components of embedded system is timer counter hardware most critical component of embedded system is timer or counter hardware timer is used to generate a time delay time delay means time clock pulses are supplied to the timer through critical resonator oscillator circuit counter counts same external events that is counter clock pulses are t1 t2 and they can be treated as 0 and 1 0 and 1 timers and counters these are the main uh, main components which are used in the embedded hardware that is the critical components this is the critical co that means why we are calling as this critical component means embedded system which is designed to perform a particular task within the time so within the specified time only we have in the different 
design task is performing so that's why it is the critical components and these timers uh, can it, it is having the different clock pulses if there is any time time delay it cannot uh, design uh, it cannot receive or send the information so that's why based on the time and counting pulses only the mirrored product will be operate the mirrored system will be designed successfully so that's why it is calling as a um, critical components these are all the embedded hardware embedded hardware are embedded analog uh, electronic components embedded digital electronic components serial communication devices and next one wireless and parallel ports what is meant by introduction to the embedded phone second end of the uh, introduction to embedded hardware is embedded hardware which is designed on the based on the uh, both the hardware and software it which is designed on the integrated circuits and pcb ports by using ssd components and uh, built on the pcb board it can get the embedded product and uh, having the different electronic component that is analog electronic components transistors resistors capacitors inductors diodes uh, relays switches and leds trimers these are all the electronic components and digital electronic components are uh, relays and switches can come both and the analog and digital um, electronic components that is microprocessor microcontroller ttl cmos these are all the digital electronic components these digital electronic components which is having the different special characteristics that is power dissipation power consumption power supply voltage ratings and current ratings the next one serial communication by using this serial communication you can send or receive the information from one port to another port that is simplex duplex uh, half duplex and full duplex simplex means it is the one way of uh, direction that means it can send or receive the data it, it, it may be sending or receiving the data only half duplex it is two way of direction that is we can send uh, we can receive the data both the direction but we, um, but not at the same time in, in full duplex we can send or receive the data simultaneously at a time that is known as a full duplex serial communication which may be used to receive send the information from microprocessor devices by using the simplex half duplex and full duplex next one parallel devices devices which are used to con external devices which are uh, connected to the systems and printers and cd roms used to send the information within the short distance it can uh, receive the large amount of data it can receive the uh, bytes of data within the specified device and it can also used to connect the personal computers this is the parallel devices and the next one is wireless devices the wireless devices are also called as a data communication device which is to uh, perform uh, you can receive the information from one device to another devices and this information which is transmitted through the uh, electromagnetic waves uh, through space um, the, uh, like mobile and computers by using this mobile and computer the lots of information in, in our day to day life we are sending and receiving the information in every day we are sending the information and every day we are receiving the information so lots of information we are receiving by using this wireless communication these wireless communications in most plays a major role in, in marketing embedded design and in the the main applications of embedded design is mobile phones and computers microwaves and robots refrigerators medical scanning that is ecg scanning in ecg scanning also this embedded design is uh, used N next one is trimer and counting devices these trimer and counting devices plays a major role in embedded product design and so it can use the os critical oscillator crystal oscillator crystal oscillator means it can uh, at a uh, 
embedded design design to the particular task this task which is performed this specified time of so for this specified time of for this specified time of design and, and it uses a different clock pulses and counting pulses so by counting and by um, the clock pulses it can receive the information on the embedded system products that is known as the embedded hardware embedded hardware are analog electronic components digital electronic components serial communication devices parallel port devices and timers and counters by using these components we can design the embedded product on the pcb board or integrated circuit board this is the uh, and this is the concepts of the embedded hardware the next remaining con concepts we can learn uh, on the next section thank you thank you